let's jump in. No power. First thing I see is a fetch land. Is there anything to draw me away from a fetch land? There's Noble Hierarch. Um, which kind of cuts green. There's not much else. There's not much, there's not much um, other green in the pack. Noble Hierarch is a good ramp spell. I've got to admit, though, I hate green. I mean, I end up with a bunch of mana dorks, but... I haven't been too impressed with it. Is Marsh Flats better? Hmm. I do like having good fixing. I think I'll hold off because Hierarch is so is such low power. The mana dogs are like Hierarch's a better one, but the mana dogs are pretty interchangeable. Marsh Flats, Fetch Lands are so good in cube. Um, let's look then, but Mono White's always open. A Braid's a good card. So watch for these two. There's two red cards and one white card in the opening pack. We'll see if any of them come around. And then I get Thalia. Uh, would love Source of Plowshares. Maybe I take the Source of Plowshares and see if I can with Thalia. That is possible. So as the Plowshares goes in more decks, Thalia is the best card in Mono White. I tell you what, Mono White comes around a fair bit. And if someone wants to go Mono White, that means I get to draft something cool because they stop taking the cards I want to play. Um, so I think we take the Swords to Plowshares. And we see if Thalia comes back. Um, there was one white card, which was the guy that you can level up in the first pack. Uh, if he comes back, we know we're doing the right thing. Um, if not, then we'll have to jump ship. Uh, I just feel like Swords of Plashies just goes in more decks. And it's such a good card. Khan's alright. Um, a few other green cards. Nothing terribly powerful in green. And then we get this pack. Which kind of makes me feel good about not taking Thalia. I mean, I would have taken Gideon. Gideon's alright. But, um, nah, she probably just would have taken Library. Library is good. It's not overly good, but what I will say is when I have a Library in my hand, opening hand, I never mulligan. Like, usually with Library, you know that you're going to hit your land drops. It just makes um, more keepable hands. This perhaps makes me feel like I want to go on a um kind of controlling plan i feel like uh it's not as, as good an aggressive decks because on the terms where you're using library you usually want to be playing your fast aggressive cards uh red and six and um roman up ex excavator in this pack so that's pretty cool i like that um Sure. Now there's Bob. I like Bob. I don't think I want to be playing red. Um, yeah, Dark Confident is just so good. And there's Lingering Souls. Lingering Souls can sometimes will, which is quite cool. So, when we're not commit, committed to white black, the last white black I, the only white black I've, deck I've ever um, played, or well, strictly white black aggro, went 3 0, we traded with it. So, look, we'll see how it goes. Um, but I think I'm playing Dark Confident here. Storm looks a little bit open, tempted. Um, I do like swords. I also like Raven Inspector. I loved I loved Will that bitter blossom bitter blossom from the first. Um, we're not playing Cryptic. Mana is still terrible for Cryptic. Tolarian Academy. We don't have the artifacts to go with it. I feel like it is, unfortunately, between Raven Inspector. Or do we jump into Storm? 
<laughs> Can we spec my own stone? Like, Sword of Body and Mind is a good card. All these cards, I feel like, aren't terrible in a storm deck. Storm, we don't really want to be white. I'll, I'll take the... I'm being safe here. I'm taking the Sword of Body and Mind. And kind of uh, happy I did. Shard and Port is good. Fate of Witch, I already got some creature removal. Not all decks play creatures, so it makes me kind of nervous about playing Fatal Push. I'm sure that was annoying. Um, so, Hero is good. I do like Port. It's between Hero of Akros and Port. Shard and Port. Um, I've always been disappointed with Hero. It just gets beaten up a bit. We'll take the Rashad and Port here. Mind Twist. Well, that's what we're taking. Um, what am I saying? So there is a fair bit of black going back, which I am happy to see. Uh, we'll see if the white cards come back around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got one more pack of... Um, New cards. We're taking Mind Twist here, it's pretty obvious. The white cards are coming back. Mother of Runes is good. I th so I think we start taking some aggressive cards. Um, we've got some good black, which kind of drags me towards. Because I, really, I do want to play this Dark Confidant. Marsh Flat, Marsh Flat seems okay. Stick mom. So yeah. Good sign. No one's in white, but there's a bit of blossom. We'll see if anyone takes a Thalia. That's gonna be curious. Black White seems pretty open. Not the strongest deck, but again, last time I did so well with Black White, so I'm curious to see how this goes. It's dark confident considering our mana costs at the moment is looking pretty ace, and I'm happy to take a bit of blossom and can hold a sword. There's a Thalia. We're doing it. Athalia, I think a bit better than Duress. They both go against sort of non-creature decks. Duress can sort of steal Planeswalker. Athalia can just really frustrate an opponent. So, holds the sword. There's a Gideon. I think Gideon perhaps a bit better than Rotting Registral. Um, the ability to exile something when it gets big enough is pretty good. So, white or oh, lingering souls with wheels. This is a... I feel like this is going to... I feel like this is looking like a good style plan deck. So we'll see how it goes there. Green also a bit open. Um we're not playing the card. What do we play for Oscar? If we get some green fixing. But I don't think I want to. So we've got nine playables from that pack. Hmm. Okay, so there's some on color fetches. Smokestack, I think, will come around. Would we play Smokestack? Probably. Um, and I also think the same about Awakening, which are both very good cards. We will not get uh, this back. Is this better than Oblivion Ring? Because I feel Smokestack, Bloodstone Maya, Oblivion Ring, all these things will. We have a good stack stack. I think Smokestack might end up being a bit better than Awakening. Like, I never get Smokestack to work, though, is a problem. Um, but we'll take Bloodstone Mike, because this is the card that we won't get back from this pack. And I feel like we're going to get enough playables. Um, and it's a matter of having good mana. Really prioritizing any black white jewel. Stoneforge gets Sword. Which is good. Might wheel, but I don't think I want to risk it. I think this is just going to upgrade our deck so much that we just want to have one. Um, and like we could probably wheel it by taking the Windswap Teeth, but there's no other white cards in this pack. Let's just take this and be safe. No need to take big risks over that card. Um, Guy's Cradle makes a lot of mana. Can I play another off-color land? What am I taking if not guys? Great. Recruiter gets Bob. Recruiter's alright. 
it's just so average. So Gaia's Cradle is an off-color land that makes a lot of mana in this deck. And I think that might be worth playing. It's not really competing with much. Savannah will help us uh, play Vraska, but that's not really something I'm keen to do. And so it's Gaia's Guy, Cradle, I guess helps us play Vraska. Okay, we'll speculate on that. There's a flip flicker wisp, there's a nice wisp or a tidal skull. Tidal skull is coming back. I think I like Nights Whisper here. Um I love drawing cards. Always love drawing cards in cheap. Flicker Wisp works with Stoneforge. And that's about it. Yeah, I think we I think we just played the Night's Whisper. Emery's call is fine. Um okay, so Kaya's coming back. I would Imperial Silver Bob, I guess, most games. I don't think this is Imperial Silver deck. I kind of like uh, Kaya itself a bit. I like uh, knowing what my opponent's doing, sitting from their hand, and I also like willing Kaya if possible. Uh, there is a Black Green Land. They really want me to splash green at the moment. I'm getting all of the Black Green and White Green fixing. But, um, take this. Or white green filsing. Mesmeric Fiend is, I think, the only sort of playable card in this pack. Well, I mean, it's not really what we're doing. Um, it can hold a weapon, it can steal something. Yeah, sure. Okay, good hand. I like Ophiomance. So, this is a good pack, sorry. I like Ophiomance. Um, but this is a high impact card. This is the kind of card I want to be playing. The kind of card that can stuff up my opponent. Easy. Right. So Liliana's Triumph, or I believe we were going to take Amson over Sun Titan here. I've got Swords to Plowshares. Hmm. I feel like Avis is a higher power card. I, I like playing playing cards with um higher power, power level. So there's Worst Rider. Which goes, I think we just take Smokestack. We'll take that most powerful card. Um oh wow, Wind Heath Wheels. This Rasko is looking better and better. This is a nothing pack. Someone's doing cool storm things, and I'm happy they're doing that, I guess. Uh, let's just cut black. Make sure no one's in on colors. Tyler Scholar, I think, is fine in this deck. We are getting... Mm, how much... Uh, how many playables we have? We've got plenty of playables. Looks like we're going to have a full deck, which is nice. I don't think we'll be um, running short of playables. I feel like this is going to be played for three most, like turn four, discard the rest of their hand, make it a bit hard for them to, in, to um, get back into the game. So we're pretty weak to removal, that's what I noticed. Missouri Fiend, Tide Hollow Scholar, and Free Buddha. Still, so I'm gonna make it hard for my our opponents to do what they do what they want to do. So I think Skull Clamp is one of the best cards we could open. We've got Stoneforge and we've got our Lingering Souls, as well as Bitter Blossom. Um, I think we just want equipments. We got so many small dudes. We just want uh, weapons for them to carry. We'll make sure that's going okay. It's like, please be recording. We're recording. I haven't had that before where I'm realize I'm not recording. Is it almost open? Someone did take the tendrils, but this is gonna be a better deck than a storm deck. The storm decks are unfortunately so bad. I get I know there's a perfect storm deck where you just win every time, but hmm. they never work for me. I've gone two and one a few times with Storm, but that is Less often than I'd like. Sure. Let's 
So maybe Archangel. I'm wondering if Archangel Absin is our least favorite card here. I feel like we're going to average out around two. We've got some big stuff. But we've also got a lot of lands. Hello, Sanchez. This is a cat stream. If you like cats, you're in the right place. This cat likes to chew my headphone wires. Chewy young man. Chewy. Now, Ancient Tomb goes with not much like, it's actually kind of bad in this deck. Like Liliana's, I think Liliana might wield the way things have been going. Batiscal would also wield, which we would play with Stoneforge, I imagine. Um, Rather, look. It's not the best, but it is a powerful card. Being out of Armageddon eternally, smokestack eternally. Right. Now there's a mana vault. I'm fine taking powerful cards. Mana is getting a bit awkward. We really want um the black white jewel lands. They just might not come, but we'll have to cop that. Dark Ritual. Maybe Liliana would will. Might play Liliana. Might as well as next time. Okay, so Necromancy. I think we just have to take Courtyard, because our mana is still looking a bit awkward. We have a lot of colorless lands and one Marsh Flaps. That's it. <laughs> That's all got. Um, good cards. I mean, Ocean One's unreal. I suppose we would play it if we had it. Kitchen Finks. Go to a smokestack. Maybe I do like Kitchen Finks in this deck just to gain a bit of life. We're losing a lot of life with Bob and a bit of blossom. Um, sure. Day of Judgment, maybe, but we'll take the Concealed Courtyard. We're going to get the black white land in a pack that has all the perfect cards for us. It'll be Skull Clamp or the Black White Land. This is Skull Clamp. Um, fortunately, nothing competing with it. This card's great. Now we've got two targets for our Stone Forge. Um, we're playing Lingering Souls, playing Bit of Blossom. Uh, Skull Clamp is perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get my mana fixing. Makes me sad. Um, Revelark. I'm probably going to take a Wrath of God here. Just as a cyborg card, but Revelark's not bad. And Revelark will wheel anyway, so uh, is Wrath of God better than Damnation? Um, look, we're going to be playing. You know, I actually might take Damnation. Sure. And there's this pack with either Ravages of War or... Yeah, I've, I'm pretty happy with this. I'll, I'll, I'll water play both. Potentially cutting Emerson because it's a fire drop. Um, yeah, this is fine. I'll Vindicate. Vindicate's perfect though. And it's cheaper. Sure. suppose this is good. Creates tokens and there's a bomb. Maybe I'm cutting Everson for this. I'm a bit short on playables. That's strange. I didn't think I would be, but okay. Um, Plateau does fix white and but I don't know how that I actually did end up short. Um, opposition agent. Yeah, 
Yeah, I really like Opposition Agent. So many places where this card is good. Um, Murderous Rider or Battle Skull? Battle Skull is fetched by... Or Guy. Yeah, I'll take the Battle for Guy. Do I want to play this? Not really. Necromancy, Cyborg card against Reanimator. Another big bloke just for the sake of having a dude. Reveler. Is Revelark good? I think it is. I'll play it. I've, I've never played Revelark before and I feel like this is like the deck that played it. Okay, did you get the Black White Jewels? Which is a bit frustrating, but there you go. Do what we can. So, I don't know what that guy does to the little vampire Nighthawk, I guess. I like all my cards. Maybe a cut of five drop. Revelark. Return up to two type creature cards when it leaves about four three. So four three. This is a 4-4, so they're both flying dudes. This guy flashes. When it leaves, I get to return two guys. Which is okay. I feel like Amazon's a bit better. Right. Yeah. Now, I'm playing um, Mana Vault basically is for mine twist, I guess. I guess I want to cut something else. Now, I've already got two targets for Stoneforge. Is it worth playing? It's just such a low impact card. But then again, it gains life, and my other creatures can hold it. Did I have a rabbit just before? No, I took something else. So, equipments, creatures, disruption. This is a cool deck. Do I play Gaia's Cradle? How bad is my mother going to be? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight white sources, which means I'll have seven black sources. Look, good mana is for cowards. <laughs> I'm playing this. I want to try the Guy's Cradle. I like, I love Guy's Cradle. It's a stupid card. And I've got Library of Alexandria, so I'll just draw into my good stuff anyway. I'm getting bitten. Hey. Okay, you can have a chew, I guess. As long as it's not on my headphones. Yeah, like, one jewel land there would have given me th like two extra sources in both, which would have been perfect. But, um, we'll play Bad Mana. So I took Vindicate over the Ravages. That's probably more, more of a flexible card. So I'm going to mess with their hand using Mesmeric Fiend, Kaisal Freebooter, and Tidal Scholar. Then I'm going to use Stoneforge or just draw Skull Clamp and Body of Mine to make them bigger. Then I'm going to I'm getting my distance now. I have no lands, nothing in hand. It'll be perfect. Hmm. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just know something. Let's count our black sources. Six black sources. Amara. 
a sec, bad. Seven. I only, I only need one black source. Black space could be expansion this day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Our mana is not great. But we're not going to play things, we're just going to annoy our opponent. That's all we're going to do. Why do I need so much mana for Guy's Cradle? To play Smack Stack early, of course. I'm keeping any hand of library. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my mana fixing. Library of Alexandria. A terrible card for a terrible mana. So, is this deck good? No, I don't think so. But what I've noticed about the aggressive decks is people play a Storm, and we can just um, sort of take advantage of the, black, of the fact that people are trying to do fun stuff and uh, ruin their fun. It's been said before, Fun is a zero-sum game. The more fun we have, the less fun our opponent has. Let's keep all the fun to ourselves. What you looking at? Oh, the cat has gone feisty. So, what's our best card? That's a good question. Probably Armageddon or Mind Twist. Didn't really open any power. I find that when you don't open power, just jump into a fast deck. And uh, try and outrest the power. It's what for me. We've been in the queue for a minute and 40 seconds now. 4,500 people play Magic. It takes us about two minutes every time to find an opponent. I'm not sure if that's correct. I don't know how that works. So this deck, um, last deck we drafted, was it seemed a lot better than this deck, and we went 2-1. I feel like this is a 1-2 deck. We'll see how bad our mana is, and how lucky we get. We'd like to play first. We always say, good luck, have fun, smiley face. I don't know how to pronounce my opponent's name. I'm going to say it's um, Squins. Let's go Squins. Library of Alexandria, what do you got? See, look at this perfect mana. So good. You can take one of my two cards. I wonder if you'll take Smoke Stack. I wonder if you're scared of stacks. My favorite part is, ooh. The jig is up. <laughs> mm, so library's offline. Thought sees was a good first turn play. But um, we're going to be able to up the pressure with Lingering Souls here. Um, how quickly do we want to get the smack second play? I don't really know. My opponent is too, he says, I too am running some spice. Um, spice is nice. Let's thin this deck. Get one of my three remaining remaining plans planes. Gonna play my uh smoke stack. We'll die pretty quickly here, but um Perhaps I should have done Glenn as Merrick Fane there, but I was feeling greedy. I want to get the stacks going. What's my opponent doing, Eureka? Okay. Oh, that's a good one. We can attack that down. All right. 
I believe your upkeep put a soot counter on smokestack and then sacrifice. So if I put this down first, the soot counter will go on last. And we order those correctly. Go us. We did it. Yes, I do. All right. We're definitely playing Rashad and Port. Or are we? Um, good draw cards. He's got one. Oh, we'll stop on his upkeep. Let's play Rashad and Port and make more guys. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. It only costs one. That's okay. We weren't going to use that anyway. Um, and I guess we pass the turn and tap his swamp on upkeep. So, Hermes deck looks pretty weird so far. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited to see the spice. Four green. Draw cards? Drawing cards is fine. I just don't want you playing them. Have all the mana. Alright, we're definitely going to put two counters on this. Start sacrificing... Uh, our spirits. He's gonna have to lose two lands, and we do get to. Do I want to take a peek at, peek at what he's doing? Is a question. Uh, I think we want to. Yep. We're gonna put the counter on after we sacrifice one of our permanents. I'm gonna put, put a counter on. Yes. Better skull. Um, we definitely we're not using this, so let's draw two cards. I'm I'm curious at what's in the library. Sword. Sword will be good next turn. I think I want a mesmeric fiend and tap his swamp. Let's see what he's doing. <laughs> I mean, could be a channel. Um, he's losing two lands. Let's not give him away the channel. Um, sword is very good. Mismatch up, I feel. Okay, so we take his Khan down. Attack him for one. Well, this deck's working pretty well so far. And I imagine he will sacrifice a swamp and a forest. And then play some things. I can uh, sacrifice the Sure, play land. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I kind of want him sacrificing more things. Smoke stack counter goes on last. What are the two permanents I want to sacrifice? Maybe the library, maybe one guy. And we will put a third counter on. Ooh, I like that. See guys, Cradle is just broken. So that's spicy too. <laughs> I 
Okay, opponent is officially a nice guy. I like that. X Drinker, Sylvan Library, Nyssa. It's like a fun green deck. Mind Slaver. Okay. No Adrazi yet. Haven't seen the channel from him. Vampiric Tutor into, Vampiric Tutor into channel seems like a groovy deck. So we're making lots of permanents to sacrifice. Maybe we just get rid of our lands? We don't need those two swamps, that's for sure. So he's got... Four mana. I think I can start getting rid of my lands. Um, the counter goes on last. I have to say that every time. What do I want to get rid of? I don't like these. Kind of like my creatures. I've got, I've got other planes. Sure. Stone Forge. That gets Skull Clamp. So how much mana do we have? I go, oh, he's had enough. Well, okay, Smokestack did it. <laughs> we finally got the Smokestack going. All right, so what wasn't good? Kite Self Freebooter, I know, I know there's a channel, there's a Vampiric Tutor, so maybe Kite Self Freebooter is good, but he's going to play that stuff before I get a chance to use any of it. Um, What goes against Emrigal? Protection from all colors, I guess we can use Oblivion Stone or Damnation. Uh, he's trying to sneak Emrakul into play. Mm -hmm. What are we doing in response? Damnation kills all our stuff, but Damnation can be good if you play some dorks to begin with. So there wasn't anything there I really wanted to kill. Anything that's not good. Shriek more seems fine. These are good. Vindicate. With the tutor's uh, opposition agent, looks fine to me. Thalia. Uh, probably not. Hmm. So, I assume Damnation does kill Emrakul. If he's playing Emrakul, if he's just putting into play. We'll try a damnation. I'm happy to be double black. Oh. Do I want to have a black card? Or I could just play a Let's try a blue instead. As a five mana remove spell. Terrible card. Um Okay, I like this. It's like a turn two Mesmeric Fiend. I don't think we want a Rashad and Port. Let's remove. Um, oh, we'll keep that stuff there for now. We got a Rashad and Port in hand. 
suppose. Oh, okay, that's something we can probably exile straight up. The gate. So turn to lingering souls, which is kind of cool. Should have I let him invest stuff in it first? Probably. Probably was an idea. That's a problem. Well, I think I might want to hold off on the lingering souls and just make sure he doesn't have anything good to do. I don't want to see two big things. Oracle Nature's Claim. Hmm. Okay. Get rid of the Oracle. So pretty happy with his hand because there's no action in it. Now, would I trade this Merrick Fiend, like his Oracle, better than with Velos? I think it is because he's got no cards in hand that do anything. Um. Probably just Lingering Souls next turn and start applying some pressure. We've got a battle skull. Yeah, we'll take two. You bluffed me out, man. Okay, so he's got a lot of mana. He <laughs> can't play it. My mana is great. <laughs> I don't really care about the Rashad pot at the moment. He's got so much mana that tapping one land doesn't seem to be accomplishing too much. i probably just chuck down a Battle Skull next turn and start hooking up a Lion Dude to go to town. Let's see if my opponent can draw one of his larger cards. So at the moment he's got a Nature's Claim in hand. So I'm ahead. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Look, if I draw a land, I, I won't mind Mind Twisting and um, playing Smoke Stack on the same turn. I see my can attack it by F6. And my assumption is correct. So five to equip. And he's gonna use it. Wonderful. Smokestack and cart start coming into play now. Kinda of wanna draw a land. Sure. That life, I'm sure, will come in handy. No cards in hand. <laughs> Best match was ever. Um, there's land. Still can't play Gideon. I can play Smokestack leading that up. Or I can play another Lingering Souls. That sounds a bit better. Oh, well, it looks like I'm not playing Lingering Souls because I can't tap my mana right. wonder if that'll cost me. We'll see. So he just wants anything big. Nissa will probably be one of his better draws. This would be pretty unreal for him. Sure. Sylvan's good. It's exactly what he needed. Um, I'm going to kill everything on his side of the board, is the plan. That's also good. Skull Clamp seems pretty good at the moment. But there's also a sword. Sword meals him. Skull Clamp draws a lot of cards. Uh, 
I think I like drawing cards. Yeah, it would be much better having two more one ones in play, but good chance I'm gonna get Emery called. I guess if I can draw all Mana Vault. I don't really care about Mana Vault. Oh man, if I untap, I get to do it. Mm -hmm. What does he sacrifice? Sacrifice the forest. So I guess you see a lot of cards here. He can't play Emrakul, which is good. He can play... Nissa, which is bad. I'm probably going to just sacrifice a Swamp. Gonna draw four cards or we'll kill off my smoke stack. That's pretty good. He can probably what can he do? He can give himself his oracle back. Oh I guess a sacrifice anything he wants as well. Fair enough. I guess sacrifice two things. That's really good. He also has lethal on board, which is a problem. Yeah, I think he's got that one. This turn is not going well for me. So, Stone Force me, I mean, Mesmer Freedom's dying, my lands are dying. Yeah, I'm gonna lose a lot here. What do I want to draw? If I can get to keep my swamps, I guess I want to draw a damnation. Well, we didn't quite trigger them, right? I think you want to put the counter on before. And then sacrifice maybe smoke sack and something else. Uh, he's got the Emery Call. He's probably just, smoke sack probably works in his favor now. Also, I'm taking two turns, so yeah, look. Pretty good for him. He'll probably give him his oracle back if he wants it. Also, with two lands, I can Armageddon. That's true. Okay, yeah, that's. So, what's it going to be? What's Dane? Oh, he can target, he can target me with the Mind Twist. Vindicate's a good draw. Yeah, this is going to be a good Emrakul turn, I tell you. Um, but he's allowed me to keep all my lands. <laughs> uh, 
Libraries on both sides. It's going to cure my stuff using skull clamp and then my twist myself. He's got his guy back. So nature's claim. I've got to take uh, rebooter out, I think. I just have an enchantment. I don't think I have any artifact enchantment in removal. Hmm, so he's an oracle in hand. Oh, interesting. Okay. And then he might just... Okay, let's see if we can draw land. Guy's Cradle? Nope. Good game. I heard it's really nice. Okay, okay. I'm um, sick. Rebooter out. We can't play great. Come on, I'm not. It's too bad. Um, Fellows. Fellows was really good. Let's have a damnation. <laughs> so I haven't gotten in trouble with my money yet. I feel like I've gotten away with it for the most part. Um, we had Giddy in our hand that game. But we still managed to do some pretty cool things. And we know this is, this is our first draft of many, so we're probably going to go zero three with this deck. But um, we have enough tickets. I think I can go zero three two more times before I run out of tickets. Before I run out of tickets, hopefully that's not the case. His deck is does a lot of nothing. We don't want to resolve any miracle. Okay, mum, mind twist. I like this. I think we're going to cradle into a big mind twist. Guy's cradle is just so good. And look how perfect my monitor is. It's amazing. How greedy do I want to get? I reckon I'll mind twist for three. Uh, if he murders my tide hole scholar, maybe I'll play Ling Souls before I play mind twist. Try and empty his hand. So, so far on stream, we've gone two and one, one and two, two and one. So, we're with one, five, lost four. All right, let's go, Mom. Do your thing. Take you from green. Show me what you got. Will he have the turn to... No, it doesn't look like it. Or I could still have this channel. Sure. That's kind of annoying. So it looks like we will be playing 
and green cells tend to. All right, first question is, does he have any removal? No, we'll take the propellers. We don't need the subcube stop. Silver. I hope he plays four. Okay, so we've got the mind twist next turn. Or so I hope he pays lots of mana to look at the top parts of his library. Um we're always healed to this. And he is already on 14. That was a very expensive dismember. He got it. So if I can arm again in here. It's pretty unreal. I think that's good since here, makes all the difference when your opponent's cool. You gotta have cool opponents. Sure. I mean, we still get to attack. We might even be able to do both if we draw land. I haven't added it up yet, but we want six. Oh, okay. We've got one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. So you play this and blow everything up. So now he can't use the library's ability. Hmm. He can pay three mana. He can also use some um, that kill artifact card. Well, we did it. We did it. So what wasn't good? I don't think anything that, that was the sideboard had too much of an impact. Um, and hopefully the, um, hopefully Cartsell Freebooter has a few more targets in future, but hey, we got there. I, I really don't want to play Oblivion Stone. Card is not good. But um, we had one game with Smoke Sector did its work, and one game where Armageddon did, did its work, so hitting our good cards, causing problems for our opponent. Lingering Souls is so important to this deck. I think actually I might have dropped two black white decks in my time and one of them one of them trophied, the other one didn't have lingering souls. Okay, this is a strange black hand. Curious to see what I'm versing. Always say good luck, have fun. Um I guess we'll start with this one. Now, if you play as an elf, we're going to shriek more that elf. Oh.
Let's let's have a look at what I'm playing against Half Took Your Life for no reason. For some reason I just didn't think it mattered. <laughs> okay. We missed. Trying to get us to turn two Uro. Okay. Sure. Probably just should have played the swamp there. <laughs> But it did not. So it goes land, land, Uru. This Hydro Crisis is looking pretty good. Trinket Mage. What's he going to get with Trinket Mage? Soul Ring. Ugh. <laughs> well, look, at least I get to... He didn't play it. Maybe that was smart on his part. Because, um... I just want to... So I got all of his good stuff. Sure, okay. Yeah, I would much rather be on 18 right now, but yeah, whatever. Um, let's look at... And I suppose... Oh, let's play Lingering Souls. Lingering Souls seems good here. I'm not sure what I want to get rid of. I'm pretty sure I just play the Shriek more and if I draw a land I play um Oh, he's got some. Oh, okay. I'll go to five. Five is fine. My opponent's deck is cool. No, I'm not blocking that. Sure. Don't think I'll be playing Bitter Boss in this game. I may also have to slow down on the... Ancient Tomb. I like Vindicate's going to be good here. Sure, bring that back. Okay, some life. Yeah. Oh, do I go to one? I'll go to one. Let's do it. Come on. I want to have those two souls in play. Black. I've only got one white, so my place is turned on really bad if I don't. Or I could fiend. So I'm definitely doing this. And I think fiend is better. We just don't want to get blown out by anything dumb in his hand. Soul ring out of autumn. Bye bye out of autumn. You can have your soul ring. This deck is definitely powerful. But um mind twist going good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just draw a land once. Sure. Oh. Mm-hmm. Probably shouldn't have used the white mine. Um, oh, okay, yeah, fair enough. Well, he top decked something good, which means he gets his night of back. 
but I can take that. Oh, I like that card. I don't even play it. Uh, I can do Tadho Scholar. Grab the card in his hand. And then... I do want to attack for five. I have two blockers. Cool. It's dead next turn if he can't respond. Okay. Hmm. See, so his deck just deck just draws cards and does silly things. Again, I feel like damnation's a good card here. Hmm. Because it, it's it's creature deck. And all the creatures I saw were killable by this, killable by this, killable by this. Card self free version still doesn't have any good targets. Mesmeric Fiend. Thalia looks pretty mediocre. We just kill these guys? Is that, is that how we do it? I, I, I like this guy. Do I cut Gideon maybe? Uh, Gideon's good with uh, this kind of um, sleeping nonsense. Could cut a better skull. It's a bit dorky and dumb. Sure. Let's give this a go. Go all out on the sleepers. Turn to body and mind. Nothing else. So this is like. Yeah, this would be a mulligan if, even if I didn't have the Ancient Tomb, so... Alright, this is good mana. We drop a land, we drop a swamp. Cool. We're going to turn to play... Do I mind drawing more lands? I think I do. See what our opponent's up to. Driftwing. Good card. Um, let's get the probably a black. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because oh, we mulliganed, we don't have to discard. Do I play Gideon or do I hold out and play? Hmm. If he plays a fetch, that makes it easy. Okay, so we get to respond to his fetch here. I don't think I have anything to grab with it. Um, let's grab a tiger. Yeah, that worked quite well. <laughs> oh, Smokestack. Smokestack seems pretty good here. Um, or I can sort of body a mind him. I feel like Body and Mind has the most upside. Wow, I think we're crushing our opponent. <laughs> Oh, he does have Uro here, but I've got some body in mind. Uro is fine. Right. Does it stop me from playing it next turn? You need to have water. Oh, water. 
happened. <laughs> water. Um, oh, cool. Still so quite do it though. Ah, oh, right. It's good. It's good. I like what my opponent's done here. I suppose. Hmm. I tell you what, that's a good way in. Reflect Cloudscape. And uh, I feel like these cards are sort of like the the good filler in blue. And they've just come together to do a good job here. So how do I want to play this? Probably just use Gideon. You can't be ready yet. Okay, I'll do it. Library. Hmm. All right, let's try playing. Maybe box too risky. Um. Uru is annoying. Let's keep the pressure on. Yeah, yeah, I guess this gives us another body to chuck uh, sword on. So what he really wants is a blue land. I imagine my Gideon's going to one. So I probably should have equipped uh, the agent with the skull clamp there. Hmm. Oh, that was an unbelievable play. Such a good card here. So, hmm. Maze of this. It's a good one. Uh, that can go monstrous for us. Huh. Here's a bit. Let me good. All right. Try going stacks. I thought I had this one wrapped up, but uh, Flukronos plus Mazabeth just seems to be the way to go. Rashad and Port was, is the key drawer, I feel. Or even an Armageddon. So yeah, maybe I should have just equipped that just as a precaution. Because now I can go monstrous. He, he can't go monstrous as a mystic. Oh. I like my opponent's deck. Um, but I will take 
Should I take a second library of Alexandria or a sea crown coast? It's working very well here. So he's going to get rid of a land, I suppose. Oblivion Stone actually might do something good here. We'll see. I got, I got my doubts because it's such a bad card, but this is a close game. I said good luck, have fun. My opponent responded, teehee. Seems fairly ominous. I don't think you saw the interaction between Golos and Opposition Agent. Those two are doing work. So I've got multiple ways to deal with Mass Smith, which is good. And if I draw Rashad Port, I cannot, I can do this Rashad Port thing. Okay. What are you sure? Oh, what do you just have lethal here? Mm, I think seven going to five. That's probably fine. Or he draws three. Mm -hmm. So I could play that and then I lose stacks. So I'm getting rid of my vault, which is good. I'll pursue current smoke back stack after I do all this. Try this, and this, and then let's go planes and see how in trouble I am. Mox diamonds, fine strip mines, really annoying. Blood raid, sure. Hmm. Okay. Can I 
kind of just want to destroy all his stuff now. Ooh, that's dangerous on his part. He's not going to put a stretch line on it, is he? <sighs> this can't be good. Okay, he's doing that. It seems fine. Unless he's got an Eldrazi in his deck. Because I can equip that and get in. Soul Ring. Yeah, I think I win here. I will put a Sokan on. Sacrifice two bats. Don't need this. Don't need this. Well, we got there. Uh, turns out against blue and green decks, sort of body and mind, good card. Smirk stack doing work again. Okay. Well, I guess we're on to the finals. So what I usually like to do is uh, take a picture of decks that do get to the finals, just in case. Um, I want to have a look at them later. That's the deck. There it is. Well, I feel like Guy's Cradles don't work. I feel like um, Smokestack has been surprisingly good. I, I think that even in the best deck, I thought that card wouldn't be good, but um, yeah, sure. And I feel like starting into the... Uh, all these cards there worked very well for us. Um, starting into the language damnation plan was fine. So, um, yeah, finals. Um, we've lost one game, haven't we? But going too well with this deck, I think, is pretty decent. Um, Oblivion Stone, could, uh, maybe you could say there's a threat of activation, but uh, I still don't think the card's playable. Um, Mm. I mean, it did cause my opponent to go all out attack there. It's maybe not what I wanted, but I mean, he was going to do that anyway. And I didn't know I was drawing the language, so forced him to um, attack into my spell plan. And uh, got rid of the 6-6, six -six, I guess, which allowed language to be a bit better. You want to go first? Let's say good luck, have fun, no face, this hand. All right, finally our mana catches up with us. What does this hand do? We've got Mana Vault and we've got Bitter Blossom to play. Bitter Blossom going first, is that enough? Swamp is a terrible draw. Good draws are any black card. There's so much white in my deck though. Um, I don't think this is a keep, unfortunately. This, however, is perfect. Uh, we can... Hmm. We can start with Mana Vault and potentially Mind Twist for 4 on his go. Uh, what don't I like? I like Bob. Maybe I get rid of Mom? Mom seems kind of average. Mama has been kind of average. Um, we'll keep... We'll go swap. We'll draw more lands. Depends on what he's doing. I might not uh, fire off the... Mind Twist turn 2, like if he plays an untapped blue land, maybe I'll be a bit more conservative. But I will see. If he plays an elf... 
Hmm. I'm sure I can wait, wait one more turn here. If he has like a Rafellos, I mind twist, I guess. Um, he does not. He does nothing. If he plays a minor dog, well, the four drops slot can be bad if he's got Oracle. Um, even a Guruk might be kind of annoying. If I draw a land, I get to mind twist for five, which will be most likely his whole hand. Um, Black rain. We've had this before. Sure. So I think I do mind twist here. I'm not interested in keeping the garbage in case. Okay. So now you're done. Bye bye hand. So Scarab God, Duress, etc. Okay. Seems good. Next, so next time we can play Dark Confident and Mum. Okay. This is a, a bit of a problem. Hero will be good. I mean, I've had a... Uh, Worse mulligans, I'll tell you that much. Okay, that does hold me up a little bit. So, four mana. I mean, I'll probably just give pro, pro green an attack, eh? Do I play Beard Blossom? Taking three a turn, four a turn. I think it might be necessary though. We'll take risks. I feel like he really should attack me for one here. He's got five mana. How bad could it be? That was good. Just taking two. Got my land. I don't want to play the blood stain just in case. So I can play hero and I can attack with Bob. So I think I do take a turn to untap the mana vault. We got Primeval Titan. How bad can it be? How bad can it be? <laughs> I feel like this is a turn where I do want to, um... Okay, is that enough? We're one game away from winning the trophy, which is nice. Damnation. Anguish against minor dogs, that does seem good. Let's so on the draw. Um, outside free but it is getting sided every time. That's does that tell you something? Probably. Uh, Thalia that doesn't seem great. Oblivion Stone seems kind of cool. I guess I'll play Damnation. Yeah, okay.
Turns out, Mind Fist and Mind Vault, good combo. Uh, we could do a turn to stacks. I want to try it. Come on, we have to, right? So he's Soul Tide. He's doing the Soul Tide thing. Let's get a white. Play this. So you go. I could turn one stack there. Maybe that would have been busted. I was definitely turn one stacks. Gee, that was uh, unfortunate. I missed that. I felt like I was playing on this part. Um, maybe I just play this. Goes a little stacks. Do you think it's a sacrifice? Yeah, had I played turn one stacks, this would have been a very good. He's gonna play Rafellos. Uh so I think I go Rochelle and Port here, maybe. Sure. So this point, yeah, let's just stacks it. What's your five drop? That'd be good. Okay, that's sort of fine. It's kind of an I guess, but it's fine. But Damesh doesn't do it here, unfortunately. Um, let's go. But Cameron, good man of thing. Yes, I do. So at this point, I think I just want to equip. Um, skull clamp and then play the Shadow Port afterwards and tap down his history right now. Sure, and I could draw a sign roll in here. A light damnation. I've got the swamp, so let's just do it like this. See what he sacrifices here. Now, I wonder if I can tap after he sacrifices something. Okay, I can't. That's good to know. So, if whatever I tap there. Okay, it's a good one. have flooded a bit unfortunately. So any creature here is kind of a nuisance. Ooh, that's bad. I do get rid of um, Manavod at this point. It's just my good cards. It's just salt out good stuff, and I think it's going to do its job. Uh, I put a counter on this. Sacrifice permanent, buy the Manavod. No. Yes, I do. 
One, two, three, four, five. Well, I think this is pretty straightforward. We've got two more, three more swaps luxury. So he's going to sacrifice probably animate dead end baffle scripts. Short card. Stack's not doing the best here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, six more lands in my deck. So one in three chance of drawing a land, which is probably fair. There's two lands there. Grave type is a problem. So hmm. I guess I can press the germ like this. That's quite good. Um That's not out of it. Get him. Let's play Bob. Hero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, go, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So there's only two more, um, only two more things left in my library, two more, uh, lands. So that's good. That is good. Maybe we should just go back to. Oh, always an answer. All right, all right. I think I'll stop playing permanence now. Right, do that. I feel I've got to keep this alive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can do both of those. Put a soup counter on it. I'll sacrifice three, and then I can block all his stuff, all his lands, and he has to sacrifice all his permanents. I know I'm back to square one, but I'm maybe a bit ahead. Okay. And I want to play the swamp to make sure I've got double white for Gideon, which is probably exiled, but no, it's not. Yes, I do. If 
Okay, shriek most of the draw. Um, like swamp, and away she all goes. Unless she's got a counter spell, which would be brutal. Okay. Sacrifice your permanence. And I'll do the same with mine. One, two, three, four. Eric Fane's a good start. Yes. Iron Twist could come into play. Could do something. Recurring Nightmare, Dark Confident is probably the scariest thing here. Sure. And we do it. Ms. Mayfield was an amazing draw, to be fair. Oh, hold on. Can I do anything tricky? No. So I can play that next turn, which is good. Um, probably life linking. Got a recurring nightmare, so he needs a minor help in a forest. There's the forest. And I will take it. That went quite well. <laughs> oh dear. So you can't use a recurring nightmare off, recurring nightmare off, but shriek more. Um, better skull, it's looking pretty good. I feel like I just mind twist him, get him off everything. This looks like a trophy to me. Um, three. I can even play mom. A lot of luck in this game. And I'll, I will take up the um, Gideon. And I shouldn't say I've won already because there's still things my opponent could have. And I won for, and that's lethal. That's a trophy. So, great start. Um, yeah, Black White for the second time, that deck has just overperformed for me. The Black White Fast Deck. Lingering Souls, really good. Smokestack worked. I feel like there was three games there, one in each match where Smokestack really did its job. 